Good morning. Let's play a little bit of Starfleet Academy today. Cadets Log. Last week was a really hard one, but I feel my crew's performance is beginning to improve. Corn. Corn. Hi, David. What's up? Weren't you supposed to be studying the nav sims tonight? I studied a couple hours and I needed to take a break. Your scores in the simulator haven't improved that much. We've been through this. And we'll keep going through it until you deliver what you're capable of. Okay, what do you want me to do? I want you to study nav protocols for three hours before our next mission. What's wrong? Look, it's like this. If I don't try hard, it doesn't matter if I fail. But if I study hard and I still don't make it. What about the rest of us? You know, we're doing our best and we're getting nothing from you. Look, David, I can't guarantee anything, but I'll try. Good. <sighs> Cadets log supplemental. Not my best moment as a commanding officer. Yeah, he deserved it, though. The actions of the Venturi Raiders are not popular with the majority of the people on Venturi home. Several Venturi diplomats are aboard the USS LaGrange. You will escort the LaGrange to Omega-12-300, which the diplomats report is the headquarters for the Venturi Raiding Force. There, they will attempt to negotiate a settlement. There is a problem. Omega-12-300 is beyond the galactic barrier, a mysterious energy field that encompasses the known galaxy. You will have to penetrate the barrier in order to reach the Venturi. This is an extremely dangerous area that's known to have dangerous side effects on some of the people traveling through it. So be careful. Captain's Log, Stardate 3221.6. We are scheduled to escort the USS LaGrange to the Venturi stronghold outside the galactic barrier in order to negotiate a settlement to the Venturi crisis. No. Captain, three Venturi ships just came out of warp. They are coming at us on an attack vector. Correction, they're attacking the Star Trek. Ah! are you all right? The LaGrange has been destroyed, Captain. He's taking damage. I don't want to get too close. I don't want to get too far either. Still to take care of itself.
All Venturi ships have been destroyed or disabled, Captain. Starbase 23 is secure. But we lost the LaGrange. The LaGrange. Captain, an instant before the LaGrange was destroyed, I sensed something. It was as if I was in a mine meld with someone who was experiencing a sharp pain. You think there were Vulcans on the LaGrange? There were no Vulcans or individuals with known psi talents aboard the LaGrange. What I sensed seemed like it originated far away farther than my mind could comprehend. It was a mind of great power. Incoming message from Starfleet, Captain. Let's hear it. With the destruction of the LaGrange, our peace mission is over. However, we do know the location of the Venturi base. Your new orders are to proceed to Omega-12-300 and reconnoiter the Venturi forces. We need accurate intelligence on Venturi capabilities. Starfleet out. Course laid in. Okay, cross your fingers to wish me luck. Galactic barrier in 10 seconds. All hands brace for impact. Medical team stand by. Entering Omega-12-300 system. To complete our mission, we should scan the Venturi base. Um, Captain, we have a malfunction in the warp field generator. We have full power in the warp engines, but no way to use our warp drive. Okay. There is a small base entrenched in the surface of the planetoid. They have a small fusion reactor, a transporter system, and a sensor array. I find no evidence of defensive systems or communications. There are approximately 32 life forms within the complex. All are Venturi. Mission objective complete. Captain, Prelate Alshoff is hailing us. He's forcing his transmission on screen. This is quite a pilgrimage you've made, Captain. Perhaps now we can clear up the misunderstandings that have plagued our relationship. Now, why have you been attacking my followers? I'd like to know more about... Many people have problems with the actions of your followers. Are you willing to answer for them? The conflicts we have experienced in the past are merely the misfortune of war, Captain. Your people should put it behind them and get on with their lives. But you do want to make peace with the Federation, don't you, Alshoff? I answer to the will of God, Captain. And strangely enough, it suddenly seems to me that he doesn't want peace at all.
usually send two derelict ships at, after me that are actually medium cruisers and are hard to help it kill. Start to slow it down. Take a few shots at it. We've completed repairs on the tractor beam, sir. Let's come to a complete stop. B, damage control, shields are yellow. Let's, let's hang around to that green. Since we're not being chased. with the same cycle of the before. Upper shields repaired. Yeah. Upper shields repaired. The tractor beam system is at 50% efficiency. Upper shields have been hit. Upper shields repaired. Gone. You must have had extraordinary power. Course laid in, Captain. Oh, don't tell me. I got lucky on this. Sir, there is no power to the warp drive. Galactic Barrier in 10 seconds. Please, let me finish it. 
All hands brace for impact. Medical team, stand by. I got so lucky on this one. H. Hailing frequency open. Everything is going mission accomplished. Congratulations on making it through a difficult series. We should also like to extend our special thanks to Sturek for helping us act out the psychic powers of Alshaf in that scenario. The death of Alshaf brings an end to the main raiding force of the Venturi. You may have noticed as the scenarios progressed, the raiders became less communicative. That was no coincidence. Alshaf's mental control over his followers was increasing as time went on. It is possible that you will see Venturi Raiders again. Not all of the Raiders needed to be coerced to help their leader. Until then, you are dismissed. Good night. Have fun. Remember, keep on gaming.